What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's RFG here today, and this lecture is going to be um, answering a particular person's question um, that they gave me a couple of days ago, and they basically asked me what I thought the uh, universe actually was. Okay, so this lecture is just going to be touching on what the universe that we all live in, okay, what it is, and what our ancestors. Um, said it was capable of doing and um, I just want everybody to know that the universe is only one of infinity okay um, let me explain there's multiple um, realities going on outside of this realm okay that are moving simultaneously uh, with this third dimensional universe that we're in right now okay so by, by me saying that I'm saying that there exists there exists something called a microverse, a universe, multiverses, and then a macroverse. Okay, the microverse exists inside of our bodies, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the microverse exists in every single human on the planet. We have sixty yeah we have sixty trillion cells in our body. And in those cells come together, a portion of the cells come together to create an organ. Then multiple organs come together and create an organism. OK, so when it creates the organism, the organism is now part of the universe. OK. And um, when you look at these. Certain objects in the universe. Known as planets. Planets are the cells of the universe. OK, we are uh, we, we humans on this planet are DNA strands of the universe and the earth is God's cell. OK, the earth is God's cell. I'm about to break this down. So just stay with me. OK, so right here we see stars in the night sky. We see the arm of the Milky Way galaxy. Um out in the night sky no pollution so we can see it clearly here all life and all stars and planets and all solar systems go in a spiral motion around the galactic center okay the spiral motion represents all life in this universe when we look at the original form of hair okay the original form of hair on this planet hair OK, notice how you spell that H-A-I-R. OK, H-A-I-R, A-I-R, because your hair is supposed to be going up in the A-I-R in a spiral motion. Your hair is supposed to spiral. So when a lady gets a degree in something called cosmetology, OK, she's getting her degree and, um, you know, doing hair cosmetology. They call it cosmetology because your hair is supposed to be spiraling just like the universe spirals. OK, just like the stars, the planets and the galaxies spiral, your hair is supposed to spiral just like the cosmos. That's why they call hair care cosmetology. OK, so that's uh, that's a little bit of etymology so you guys can understand what I'm trying to say here. What I'm saying is we are basically a microcosm of the universe um, in ourselves. OK, so when we look at this, uh, this movie Avatar, this movie Avatar came out a few years back. And uh, they were trying to depict melanated people as aliens. OK, I, I did a video um, about two years ago decoding the movie Avatar. But I didn't go into exact detail on how the characters in avatar like the indigenous tribe that were being personified um, through the media as aliens okay they basically said that on their planet their plant system their tree system and their plant system was a network was a communication network okay and um, they were saying that they were they were able to tap into the energy of the plants and communicate with other beings on the planet and to also communicate with other beings 
that were spread out through the universe, through through the galaxy. Okay, they these creatures in the Avatar movie were able to uh, perform these capabilities of communicating with other life forms on their planet and other planets in the galaxy through their planet's rainforest system, through the um, through through the rainforest on their planet and what this is what this is portraying okay is our, our rainforest on the planet earth okay for everybody who's confused all rainforests on this planet are basically the planet's hair follicles all trees and all planets Okay, all trees on every single planet in this galaxy, in the universe, all trees are the planet's hair follicles, people. They are receptors. They, they, are, they are sensors and receptors to pick up vibrational tones and fr vibrational frequencies from, from other uh, living life forms, other living beings. Okay, this is, this is what was shown in the movie Avatar. Okay, their, their plant system. On their planet that's what they did they picked up vibrational frequencies from other life forms on their planet and from other life forms uh, in the galaxy and this is what people uh, were actually capable of doing in real life okay um, the Washita natives the Hopi natives the Khalifi natives um, all over the world the uh, the Incan natives uh, the Cherokee natives the Iroquois natives, certain African tribes, they were able to do this, okay, just by um, just by eating or intaking um, a particular plant source in their rainforest. Okay, our ancestors were able to communicate with our ancestors on the Sirius star system, okay, on their home planet known as Nyon Tolo, that the original form of marijuana. Okay, the, the original form of marijuana was from South America, and when it was when it was in uh, the nutrients was taken into the human body. Okay, our ancestors were able to communicate with our ancestors on the Sirius uh, star system constellation. That is why initially the government had to ban it and had to, uh, you know, outlaw it. Okay. And they also had to splice the genetics of the marijuana plant to now make it harmful to human genetics. Okay, that is why marijuana has been compromised because it, it, it was used as a communication source, okay, to communicate with our ancestors back on the Sirius star system. And um, this movie Avatar basically, you know, just, just puts that symbology all throughout. Uh, this movie okay and I told people whatever the media says is alien is really melanation it's really melanin people it's really melanin okay a anything that they say alien they're talking about melanated gods they're talking about melanated gods okay plain and simple also the movie Fern Gully um, personified the same message, ladies and gentlemen, the same message as Avatar in the uh, movie Fern Gully. All of their all of the spirits, all of the, their ancestor spirits, dwelled in the trees of the rainforest. Okay, so the rainforest, the plants in the rainforest, were used as tools of communication, and were used um, for certain for certain energy sources. Okay, that that spirits would dwell in. So for communication and for a safe house for spirits, this is what why the trees in the rainforest are so significant on every planet um, throughout the whole galaxy, ladies and gentlemen. So once again, these trees, okay, these trees that are on the earth are nothing but flagella on a cell, okay? Trees on a planet are nothing but flagella on a sail. Look at these uh, these spiky points 
on a sale. They, 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 they perform the same purpose of trees on the earth. The flagella, the yeah, the flagella on the cell, they're able to pick up vibrational frequencies, okay, from uh, other life forms that exist inside of animal bodies. Okay, this is what the cell uses to detect its environment, to communicate with other cells. Ladies and gentlemen, they use the flagella, okay, on the surface. Okay, that's the same exact thing as the rainforest and the tree's purpose on the earth, people. It's the same purpose. Okay? And this is another diagram to back out to back up what I'm saying. Okay, this earth right here, this earth that we live on, is one of God's sails. Okay? So right here, we see the neurons. We see how the neurons transmit their message to other brain cells in our in our brain. We have cells, okay, in our brain, okay, and the, these neurons they transmit their message to other cells, okay, through the flagella, through the flagella of the cell, ladies and gentlemen. So when we look at the universe, okay, um, on a on a on the macrocosm on the macrocosm level, all planets are are sending vi uh, vibrational frequencies to one another through electromagnetic energy, okay? Through electromagnetic energy, the planets are communicating with one another. The stars are communicating with one another. This is why the zodiac is able to affect us on this earth because the stars are emitting an electromagnetic frequency onto the earth that we're living on, okay? And then the trees are sending that message right back out to the stars. So what we're seeing is like a, a, a intergalactic or a universal network of planets and stars that are literally sending messages to each other, ladies and gentlemen. And because we have a goddamn beast on this planet, we are now detached, okay, from that connection. We are now detached from that communication source because we have, we now have a media that is brainwashing us. We have um, a, a, di a dictatorship form of a government in disguise. We have bullshit religion. That is detaching us from this universal energy source, this universal communication source. We now have genetically modified food. OK, that is that is uh, basically causing our DNA to devolve. And uh, we have, like I said, we have a bullshit lifestyle being promoted by the media. So now we are now detached from nature. We are now detached from the universal communication source which is the uh the world's rainforest okay that is how we're able to communicate to our ancestors on other par parts of the world and other parts of the universe okay so once again the flagella the flagella okay the flagella of the earth is the rainforest trees the earth is god's cell okay the earth is god's cell okay so the the cells in our body have flagella to communicate with other cells so when we look at the earth's flagella the earth's flagella are these rainforest trees okay it's not a game, people. This is why the movie Avatar and the movie Fern Gully were so significant. Once again, this earth we live on and the stars are nothing but red and white blood cells of the universe. So these red and white blood cells come together. OK. And create a galaxy. 
Okay, once again, just like our hair spirals, and that's called cosmetology because our hair is supposed to spiral just like the Earth and the other planets, just like the solar systems, just like every other uh, planetary body in the galaxy, just like all of the galaxies spiraling. Our, our hair is supposed to be spiraling just like the cosmos. You see, all of the solar systems in this galaxy are, are red and white blood cells. When all when the when the hundreds of millions of red and white blood cells come together, known as solar systems. OK, when they come together, they form a galaxy. OK, and a galaxy is nothing but an organ. A galaxy is nothing but an organ. OK, an organ of the universe, an organ of the creator, an organ of the universe. OK, it's not a game. So all of these galaxies, all of these organs come together and create a organism. OK, create an organism. OK, this is this is the multiverse. This is the multiverse right here. The creator sits outside of infinity and dwells in the multiverse, okay? Uh, otherwise known as the macroverse. And the object used to get from one parallel universe to another universe, okay? What connects all of these bubbles you see as universes, what connects them are known as black holes. These black holes are pores. These black holes are pores of the universe, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So when you get sucked in to one of these uh, one of these pores, you will be teleported to another another universe. OK, another bubble, another cell. OK, another organ, another organism. OK, I hope you you understand. What I'm saying here in this lecture. OK, also the dark matter creates the pore. The dark matter creates the pore known as the black hole. Light, light cannot escape the dark matter. Okay. Our body consists of uh, six protons, six electrons, six neutrons, which creates this physical matter, this physical light spectrum we live in. Okay. So the 666 is our carbon body, but our carbon body is not our spirit. So just like a butterfly has to start out in a caterpillar, in a caterpillar body, right now in this third dimension, we are in our caterpillar body, okay? We are in our 666 carbon shell. And when this dimensional split takes place, okay, when this dimensional split takes place, we're going to have to leave our, our carbon shell behind, okay? to be able to dwell in the fifth dimension, to be able to float, to float, okay, to the fifth dimension, okay? It's called a Merkaba. It's called a Merkaba light ship. And, it, and it's what our, it's what our, uh, it's what our body is encased in. It's a aura. We have an aura outside of our 666 carbon body. And this, this Merkaba has to be activated in order for us to ascend to fifth dimensional consciousness, okay? All of these movies talking about you'll float, you'll float, you'll float too, you'll float too. Those are, the, those are the clown demons, those are the archons basically saying, if you come with us to inner earth, you'll float too, you'll float too, okay? But that's deception. The clown has the smiley face to deceive you, okay? Just like Georgie, remember Georgie, uh, with the with the uh, with the paper ship, with the, with the paper ship, that was the Ark. That was the goddamn Ark, which is your Merkaba light ship. From get to from getting to one realm to the other realm, third dimension to the fifth dimension, your Merkaba ship, your Merkaba light ship has to be activated. OK, it's not a game, people. It's not a game. And, and, and when you study Pennywise and what he represents, look at his name. His name is Pennywise. He's centuries. He's centuries wise. And 
which means that he's immortal. He's a demon that saw the universe being created. OK, because he came from the macroverse. He came from the uh, the, the the multiverse theory where he saw the multiverse is being put together. OK, so he's one of those deities that are completely immortal. But because of him choosing to dwell in the third dimension, OK, he's cursed and, and he has to uh, dwell, dwell on living beings. He has to feast and harvest off of living beings energy. OK, he's a parasite. And uh, those parasites known as archons and draconians, they dwell in the inner earth and um that's how they con and that's how they trick the life forms that they harvest. They tell them that you'll float too. Okay. Also in this movie, uh, Men in Black, it shows you at the end of Men in Black, it shows you that the universe compared to the creator <laughs> is nothing but a goddamn ball. Okay. A tiny uh, soccer ball to the, to the creator. Okay. That is. That, see, at the end of this, at the end of the uh, Men in Black movie, they showed you, they showed you what it what it was. Okay, there there are infinite realities going on simultaneously. That is the multiverse theory. The creator sits outside of the multiverses in something known as a macroverse. Okay, so once again, the clown demons. Goal <laughs> is to stop you from getting serious, <laughs> to stop you from getting too serious, people. OK. And, and if you study what it is, OK, it is a extraterrestrial demon that is that has a reptile form, has an original reptile form. That's why the original movie it when you look at the cover of the original movie, it it has these goddamn reptilian hands. And you look at him in this movie, okay, he has the extraterrestrial reptilian teeth to show you that these draconians really live in inner earth and uh, are really harvesting individuals. That's where you get your uh, Jeepers Creepers theology. Jeepers Creepers and it are all one and the same, all tied together, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this goddamn demon that lives in inner earth, these demons, these archons. They're, they know their time is up. Okay, they're gonna go into hibernation mode. Their time is up, so they're gonna try to wreak havoc on God's cell, which is Earth. So as God's cell comes closer to this serious star system, towards this, the uh, the center of the galaxy, it's gonna get hotter on this planet. Okay, and um, a lot of people won't be able to take the temperature on the Earth. The people, uh, the, the the yeah, the deities in inner Earth. They're not going to be able to take it. OK, so they're going to they're going to try to basically destroy everybody's chances of ascending to fifth dimensional con con yeah, consciousness. So that's why they made up the phrase you'll float too." you see what I'm saying? When they suck you into inner earth, <laughs> they'll say, you know, you'll float, too, because you're supposed to be floating in your light ship in your Merkaba. OK, Georgie. The, uh, the kid Georgie in the movie It, that goddamn ship that he made, that symbolizes his Merkaba. That was his Merkaba to get him from 3D to 5D. And the goddamn clown snatched that shit. Stopped him from getting too serious. <laughs> Stopped him from getting too serious, man, because he got deceived by the clowns. Okay? So that's really all I had to say on this topic. Um, my next lecture... It's going to be it's going to be really deep. It's going to be more in detail and in depth about this whole it movie. Um, I appreciate everyone who supports what I'm doing. I appreciate everybody who uh, sub is subscribed to my channel. All of my faithful subscribers. I appreciate all of you. We're all in this together. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's really all I had. I appreciate everyone who supports RFG and Atlantean movement. Um, like, share, subscribe. It's the chosen one, man. I'm out.